Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? It is Kevin with Optimized Essentials and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you why crunches are destroying your posture, all right? Now, I know a lot of people nowadays with the modern lifestyle are eating a lot of foods and letting themselves go or are wanting to get in shape but for some reason just can't get in shape because the temptations is just too much and you know, they love food, everything tastes so good and they wanna flatten their belly and they don't know how to do it and you know, it's just so frustrating so all they do is go on the floor and start banging out crunches jump on the the crunch machine and start banging out crunches in attempts to flatten their belly all right i remember when i first wanted to start losing my belly all i would do for six months straight was crunches and i, I mean i did other stuff and i did get my abs but the crunch kind of the crunch epidemic is insane because it's crunch time to lose the belly fat. And I'm here to tell you that crunches is one of the worst, if not the worst ab exercise you can do for your core, right? If you haven't seen my top three worst core exercise, worst exercises for your abs, you wanna check that out. And then you also wanna check out the best ab machine that you can do and also a better way to do crunches because all these videos are gonna share bits and pieces of what I'm gonna talk about today, but also better ways you can do the crunch and better things you can do in general when approaching the crunch because I'm explaining to you right now why the crunch is destroying your posture, why it's horrible for your posture because of this very reason, all right? so. In modern society today, most people who aren't doing postural training or aren't aware of their posture, what happens is that they're already somewhat flexed forward, they're hunched forward, gravity has pulled them down, right? Gravity has successfully won the battle against posture for the average person because a lot of us are sitting at a desk, slouched forward, right, in front of the computer. Chances are, if you're sitting watching this right now, your head is tucked back and your body is rounded forward and suddenly you're just up nice and tall because I just caught you, right? But most of us doing this over time has already developed some sort of compensation, postural distortion in their body where their upper abdominals, their rib cage, their thorax, their chest cavity has shortened, right? It has enclosed, it has been compressed in that position. So people going into the gym already have that that hunched back kyphotic position going into the gym already. So on top of that, people who train crunches now are doing it incorrectly, right? So on top of the already dysfunctional kind of hunched forward position, they're doing crunches on top of it. And not just that, most people are doing crunches incorrectly, right? What do I mean? They When they do the crunches, they are pulling their head forward and they're lifting their body up. So the thing, uh, an old somewhat mentor of mine when I was first getting into posture, his name is Justin Archer, I'm sure you can find his videos, his postural videos, right? He told me form, follow func form follows function. Basically what that means is your form, your posture, the way you look, the mold of your body follows the function. What do you do? What are you training? What are you building into your body? Why do sprinters look the way they look? Why do athletes look the way they look? Why do you know boxers look the way they look? Because their form, their body, follows the function that they put it through, okay? So when you are sitting all day and you're hunched forward and you have kyphosis, you have forward head posture, and you go to the gym and you're training forward head posture, right? What is this motion? This is training flexion and rounding of the thoracic spine. So a lot of the crunches done today are done on a flat surface, right? Flat surface, but if you're already hunched forward and kyphotic from the get-go, you're not even in extension. Extension is when your body is extended, right? Your spine is popped up, but most people are hunched forward. So if you're doing it from a, not even a neutral position, right? Let's do, you're doing it from a neutral position, you're shortening your body over and over again. You're never getting extension in your body. So crunches, are, the, are destroying your posture because you're building more flexion into your body. Even when you're doing it correctly, you're building more flexion into your body, especially if you're not introducing extension. So a better way to approach crunches is to first lay out a foam roller, allow your body to open up first so that you're elongated, and then shorten your upper abdominals, and then lengthen it again afterwards. Or you can watch my video on how to do the rope crunch correctly and get full extension of your thoracic spine 
and then full contraction of the abdominal musculature so that you can get the full range of motion as opposed to training neutral flexion, neutral flexion, or flexion to more flexion, if that makes sense. I hope these terminologies aren't throwing you off, but I'll be posting some pictures up so that you can understand the, the posturology behind why crunches are destroying your posture, okay? So if you're doing crunches, fix your posture first or do better version of crunches in the videos that I've discussed or scrap crunches altogether and focus more on training your intrinsic stabilizers, training your lower abdominals, which is actually separate from the other rest of your abs and training muscles like your transverse abdominis because these muscles are key in terms of pelvic floor stability in, ter in terms of pelvic stability and having nice strong abdominals, nice flat abs, flat midsections. And that is all I wanted to share with you guys today. I will be coming out with a program for you future viewers watching this video called Flat App Solution where I'm sharing all my secrets in terms of how to flatten your belly because you can do all the ab exercises you want, but let's say your diet is wrong and you're inflaming your intestines, your organs, your digestion, you're having constipation and digestive issues, or you're mentally stressed out and that's causing digestive issues. And there are other factors that you aren't aware of that's causing your inability to engage your abs then you wanna make sure you get my flat absolution program because I will lay out from A to Z how to achieve flat abdominals that you can actually see and not, not blind because I have them myself. I don't know if you could see them in here, but someone who actually has them and has gotten other people to get them, you wanna get some advice there or find your stuff online because there's plenty of free ab resources that you can use, but I'm gonna give you the solution to flat abs. But anyhow, it's Kevin with Optimize Essentials. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, like it, subscribe to the channel, comment down below if you wanna see anything else, and let me know what you think about all this, and have a wonderful day, guys. Peace.